This is my desert box. Our story today happens in the desert. And I thought we needed a little piece of it here in the centre. The desert's a dangerous and wild place. Not much water, no food. It's very hot in the day and there's no shelter, so you need clothes to cover you up. It's very cold in the night. You need something to keep you warm. And the wind blows the sand and it stings your skin. The desert moves, the wind blows it into different shapes. It's easy to get lost in the desert. After Jesus had been baptised, he was led by the Spirit of God into the desert. For 40 days and 40 nights, he talked with God in the desert, wondering where he should go. It was a long time without food, and Jesus was very hungry. The evil one came to Jesus and he said, if you really are special, the Son of God, turn these stones into bread. Jesus wondered. He was very hungry. The bread would taste good. But Jesus said, no. Man can't live on bread alone, but must follow the word of God. Then the evil one came and took Jesus to the holy city of God, Jerusalem, and stood him on the top of the temple. He said, throw yourself down and God will send angels to save you. Jesus wondered. If he threw himself from the top of the temple and the angels saved him, then everyone would know who he was and they would follow him. But Jesus said no. The scriptures say, you must not tempt God. Then the evil one led Jesus to the top of a high mountain where he could see all the nations of the world spread in front of him. And the evil one said, if you bow down and worship me, you can be king of all these nations. Jesus wondered to be king, to be powerful. But Jesus said, no. Go away, Satan. The scriptures say you should only worship God. Then the Spirit of God led Jesus out of the desert, back to the holy city, to Jerusalem, 
where in the power of the Spirit he began to tell everyone the good news of the kingdom of God. I wonder what it would be like to be alone in the desert for such a long time. I wonder what Jesus and God talked about in the desert. I wonder how Jesus felt when the evil one was near him. I wonder if it was hard to say no. What it felt like when the Spirit of God filled him. I wonder what people thought when Jesus was telling them about the kingdom of God.